You know, I've just finished my PC game collection and I decide mm, when I'm at it, you know, talking about so much English today, why not make, you know, a special video, you know, to celebrate my one year anniversary on YouTube? You know, it has been one year and, you know, a, f a couple of weeks ago now since I made my first video on YouTube, my first review, and so I decided I will go back to what made this channel so interesting for you in the first place, and that is game reviews. And you might wonder which game I'm going to f to cover. Well, drums, please. Here it comes. Yes, Home Alone 2. Now I know that some of you might already know right in their chairs. You know, I mean, what the fuck? Is this game is fucking awful. <sighs> you know, I like games you know, that start with the credits. No. Uh, there's a little bit of story here, you know, this is the hotel concierge and he's informing his personal and all the other people in other hotels that there's a little guy, you know, that's using stolen credit cards and all that shit, you know, they try to get him. And then you have this bit, you know, Harry and Moth, you know, they're out of jail and they want to grab Kevin's ass and do some freaky stuff with it. And this is where the game starts, and I just wanted to take a look at this. I mean, you see this pink guy, you know, he, he's trying to chase our ass, alright? But what makes me wonder is, you know, why does he turn his back? You know, he's just looking straight in my eyes, and he's turning his back on me. I mean, what the fuck? So, where do I begin? You know, we're gonna just take that pizza out of the trash can, you know, Kevin has, is supposed to collect trash cans and um, pizza or the trash cans in this game. And these dots you see right there, they will refill your health if you collect 20 of those. And you know, where do I begin? You know, you get... I already got a gun right here. The smallest one, which stuns people. Then you get a medium gun, which is this one. That one kills people, and then you get a bigger gun later on, even that, you know, is absolutely godless, it just kicks absolutely everything. And... I'm just gonna show you right here, you know, just killed that motherfucker. Yeah, send him flying. So I got space for some little couch jumping. And you have to do this very precisely, you know, like, if you come back, you have to press the jump button. Otherwise it won't work. And there I picked up the super gun. Just gonna use that you see it's kicking much ass. There I just picked up a one up. I mean and yeah, the fourth level is a necklace you can throw on the floor and people will just stumble over that. I mean look at the enemies in this game, they're just so fucking I mean look at this, you know fucking suitcases roaming around, you got some old fox dancing. Then you got Mr. I don't know Humphrey Bogart chasing our ass, dancing brooms. I mean, what the fuck? And then we come to this bit. You know, this is if you have seen other reviews, people are bitching about this, and I can clearly understand why. I mean, first of all, you have to press the button like here like ten thousand times before the fucking elevator comes. It just takes them fucking ages. And, you know, the roaming luggage, you know, if you think, you know, skeletons, dragons, shit, you know, are deadly, then you got to watch out for fucking luggage. I mean, luggage is the deadliest thing I've ever seen. It's fucking deadly, you know, deadliest enemy in gaming history. So, I'm slightly attacking all this luggage, you know, trying to get away from it. And then the finally the elevator comes. And this is the most tedious part of the game coming up right here. Um, so we are, I just got hit by another old fuck, you know, dancing. And what we are supposed to do here is, I believe we have to go in all, to, in all these rooms, you know, stunning bitches who throw pillows at us. What the hell? And we get some nice little greedy upgrades, you know, for weapons and shit. To dodge all these enemies. Now I got a power up, and this is the first time in the game where the game actually gets pretty decent because watch this. 
Hell yeah! Now the game makes fun. This is what I'm talking about. You look at this. This is fucking awesome. I'm gonna kill all these bitches. Now you might wonder why haven't I pressed on the elevator button right at the beginning when I came there. And see how there's no 13th floor in hotel room. There's never a 13th floor in hotel rooms. You gotta mark that. I just forgot to show you the elevator problem, but you know, I will cover that later. Let's just... Kill more bitches, you know, trying to avoid all these fuckers who try to grab our ass. I mean... Yeah, that's another worst thing. If you get hit, you lose that power up, you know. I, I'm not doing this spin thing anymore. As you can see, there's nothing right there at the end of the floor, so we have to go all the way back. And I hope I don't get hit at this point, because I only have one heart left. Come on, Kevin, hurry you fucking ass. Okay, we made it. Going down another floor. This is a problem, look at this. It's not working. I can press so much often the elevator doesn't come, so I have to go down the floor in all of these rooms, you know, searching for stuff that... Like, that doesn't even nothing. Got to avoid more, you know, dancing bitches. I mean, have you ever seen grandmas in... in that amount that, that jump so frequently and that with that power, you know, from one side to another? I mean, you know, fucking New York has to be one of a hell of a healthy place. I mean, so many grandmas. Seriously, this game has the one of the most terrible enemy selection ever I've ever seen in a game. Seriously. This is the fourth floor. The f one of out of five. We have, we're going to do another one after this. So I'm collecting more pizza pieces, dodging more brooms. I mean, this is so ridiculous. Why put brooms as enemies in the game? This is so fucking pathetic. Oh, fuck. And there you see what happens if you get catched by a vacuum cleaner. You know, vacuum cleaners are fucking deadly. Of course. Why shouldn't they? God. Let's try not to get sucked into the... That's fucking close. So, again, there's nothing at the end of the floor. Damn it. Yeah. Fucking die, you old bitch. So. You're going up another floor, and I'm gonna warn you, it's absolutely pointless what you just did. You will see that in just a second. More fucking... God, I, can't even I can't even believe this anymore. Now we got an invisible, you know, power-up. Nothing can hurt us anymore. Get another spinning power-up, which will help us. And we're gonna enter the service elevator. And what we're gonna do in that service elevator, what's so special about it? It's directing us to the kitchen. Yeah, you've heard me right, the kitchen. What is coming up next is really... God, it's so fucking bad. It's, it's hilarious, you're gonna see that. I pick up that, you know, super gun. Because I have to kill Mr. Humphrey Bogart. And... We've got a conveyor belt here. We got more bitches throwing shit at us! What did Kevin ever do to these people? I mean, seriously. And I got hit, I lost the power up again. I got shit falling from the ceiling, pans and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and I got just hit by a tiny piece of flesh. I mean, I mean those cooks, you know, they're hacking the flesh, you know, instead of putting that 
you know, into a boil or something to cook it for other people to eat. They're actually, you know, they're just letting that off, dropping the floor and make that cavern hurt. And this is my favorite bit. This is just so fucking pathetic. I mean, look at this. I mean, naturally you would just, you would just pull out your gun and shoot that fucker. But, you know, that doesn't do anything. And this is what you're supposed to do. Watch this. I have to slide attack him. And the problem is, look what, well, look what Kevin is doing. He's pulling off the poor man's trousers. And then he just disappears and turns into a head. I have to jump on that head, and of course I die by touching that fucking head. Of course, why wouldn't it kill me? So you're gonna do that again. And after that I have to make a break because I have reached the 11 minutes. Fucking... Okay, finally. And we get a 1-up. And see you in part 2 of this.